I am who I am because of you. If it had not been for you, tell me where would God bless you all once more. Please, we shall just move straight forward. Shall be reading from First John chapter five. Un Jean chapitre cinq. Let's hear what John, the Apostle John, have for us this afternoon. First John, chapter five, verse fourteen and fifteen. First John, chapter five. Verses 14 and 15. I read in the Spirit of the Lord. Now this is the confidence that we have in Him. That if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. I take that 14 again. This is John talking to us. Now, this is the confidence that we have in him, in Christ Jesus. You mean him, in Christ Jesus. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Verse 15. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. This is the word of the Lord. 1 Jean chapitre 5, du verset 14 au verset 15. Nous avons auprès de lui cette assurance que si nous demandons quelque chose selon sa volonté, il nous écoute. Verset 15, le dernier verset. Et si nous savons qu'il nous écoute quelque chose que nous demandions, nous savons que nous possédons la chose que nous lui avons demandé. Acclamons la parole du Seigneur. Remember, most of us at times we pray every day. We have so many prayer topics. We pray every day. More than even 10 prayer topics we lay every day. But how many of those prayers are according to his will? That's why John emphasizes, he said an assurance, a confidence, means what you believe in your heart. That whatever you ask in his name, according to his will, then he hears you. He hears you means he will answer you. He will grant that your request. But now, do we ask according to his will? We have been receiving delays in our prayers, thinking God is not hearing us. Yes, indeed, he is not hearing you. That's why he said, if we ask according to his will, he hears you. Means if it is not in his will, he does not hear you. Means any prayer which is not in his will, he does not hear you. Only those prayers that are leaded by the Spirit can be in his will. Because only the Holy Spirit will lead you to those topics that are of the will of God. It's all about obedience to his word. If you obey his word, then you are walking according to his will. Because that was the first thing he created. No one knows about his creation. But he said in the beginning, where was he from? He is the word. And the word is life. If we walk according to his word, then we are walking according to his will. And whatever we ask now according to his word, he hears you. Because his word is him himself in the written form. So you asking according to his will means you are simply bringing back what he promised to you back to him. And he's someone that he cannot deny his word because his word is himself. 
whatever you bring back to him, which resembles him, he cannot deny. He acknowledge it and grant your request. Prayer is not only demanding from God. Prayer is a conversation with God. Whatever you are asking God, be less assured that you must also receive a reply from him. And whatever you two you are doing or asking from God, it must be linked with one of the commandments. You are seeking for breakthrough. How is that breakthrough going to help your neighbor? It must not only be for selfish purpose. Your request should not only be for selfish purpose. That's why it's most of the time, most attempts, we cannot easily be blessed. Because your desires are so, so selfish. The desire for which we pray is so selfish. We just want to get rich for ourselves. They ignore even those around us. But we forget to know one leg cannot walk alone. For you to reach up there, you must need an assistance of somebody. Even for God to bless you, you must pass through somebody. But if your desire for breakthrough is only that wish, it's only for selfish purpose, you cannot be blessed. God only blesses those that he knows that through you, others too can be blessed. He blessed Joseph. Through Joseph, a whole city was blessed. He blessed Moses. And Moses had to deliver the children of Israel. From Moses, Joshua came forth. So his blessings are that which, when he wants to give you something, it should exceed generations. It should not only end with you. So when you want to ask God, ask what you know, it will not only end within you, it will exceed generations. Then that's what God knows. That yes, your request is genuine. That is why he says, when you ask according to his will, he hears you. And when he hears you, yes, you have the confidence that yes, you have a God who is alive, who is living. You should read again at verse 15. And if you know that he hears you, this is all about belief. If you know that you kneel down and pray. You have the assurance that yes, my prayer is heard. Your sincerity of your heart. Your belief in what you pray. Then you know that he hears you. Because you cannot pray for revenge. And you expect that God will hear you. You cannot wish bad against your neighbor. Then you expect God to hear you. Because even those, the prayers to your enemies have prayed against you. He has never accomplished them. He heard them quite all right. What you want is your desire. Your personal desire is not what God wants. That's why we are limited. I have been praying, I have been crying, I have been fasting. But the fasting, did you do it according to his will? Even your topic of fasting, the purpose for which you are fasting, was it subjected by him? We don't fast because you see others fasting. Some of us, you hear that your neighbor is fasting, you go in into, into fasting. No. That's not how you pray. Don't look at another person's uh, topic of prayer. You two engage in that topic of prayer. Or you heard that, no, I prayed this prayer and I received breakthrough. You ask that, my, my sister, what was the prayer topic you used? From which book, which verse did you read? You go back to, you start doing the same. Never. She was led by the Spirit. The Spirit gave her the prayer topic. She prayed and she received the blessings. For you two to receive your own, ask the Holy Spirit to lead you. Just picture how you have been praying. Link it to this verse, to the words of John. And you see where you have been making mistakes. You see that most of us, we have been going astray from prayers. Because what John is telling us here, he's telling us mostly how we should pray to God. How we need to get connected to him. If you look at the Bible, all Jesus' prayer was all led by the Spirit. He did not just pray when he wanted to pray. 
But when it was necessary, and that moment was when the Holy Spirit had to lead him. The Bible said the Holy Spirit leaded him into the wilderness where he went for fasting. Most of the times today we just get up and declare fasting or upon ourselves. But the Holy Spirit is not aware. And we forget to know that whatever you plan to, Satan to is aware. Anything you plan to do, even if it is this evening, you said this evening I plan to do this. My brothers and sisters, be less assured Satan will attack you. Because you've planned it. It is not something that the Holy Spirit leads you. Because where the Holy Spirit leads you, he guides you. There will always be something that will torment you or that will distract you. You realize yourself tomorrow that, hey, I had plans to do this yesterday. What happened? How many of you have ever witnessed yourself in such situations that you plan to do something, but you later realize that you forgot about it? That was the work of Satan. Whatever you plan, Satan too plans to destroy that plan. Remember, Satan came here to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So whatever plan he sees that it is a genuine plan, he too brings up his own objective to destroy that your plan. That's why the Holy Spirit will always be there. He just comes. It is time. Pray. 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 Then, he is present. Because him talking to you at that moment, he is already present. Means that moment is favorable for the father to hear you. Because it is his will. And the father too is already ready to listen. Because that moment you are acting according to his will. And in that moment, you should be assured. That's why I talk of assurance. You should be assured. Jesus is listening to you at that moment and your request will be granted. So please, brethren, we need to always ask the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Tell your neighbor, pray according to his will. Act according to his will. Please, brethren, let's act according to his will. Be confident in whatever prayer you make and let your prayers be leaded by the Spirit of God. God's will is only his instructions, is the obedience to his word. You obeying his word, you are walking according to his will because his will is his instruction. The commandments he gives, the instruction he gives is an instruction to us, to lead us, to guide us and if we walk according to the instructions, then we are walking according to his will. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name.